this is DMG and today we're going to worship the crafting gods by making an altar. Okay, because the gods demanded, we are going to create an altar. So, I'm going to grab two five centimeter square pieces of cardboard, and on one of them, you're going to measure two and a half centimeters down opposing sides, and then connect with a line. So, just rule a line between them, and then cut uh, with the craft knife, uh, as uh, you've seen in many, many of these videos before. Then take some hot glue, apply it to one side, and sandwich those two together. As you can see, you've now basically got four layers of cardboard. Then placing that on top of the other five centimeter square um, piece of cardboard, just measure so that you've got equidistant on each side, and that's going to form the plinth on which the altar stands, or it could be a dais if you wanted a bit of a plinth, I think it's the best term. And then with a, another piece of cardstock, um, I'm not actually going to measure these, this is to cover up the corrugation. As you can see, I'm just sort of freehanding it here. Um, and I just place the cardstock against the cardboard and run a line um, along it to denote where it is. And then just double up that line for the other side and then cut out as you have seen. So that's relatively easy. And uh, that's you know how I do a lot of my crafting. I don't measure a hell of a lot. It's just a matter of just go forth and do it. Um, and um, others do it meticulously. I am not super meticulous when it comes to this sort of thing. So here again, cardstock, just outlining the uh, one side. Now you'll see how I do the lazy way of doing this. I'm just going to cut out up to one point and not, and then just leave that top side there. And then what we're going to do is fold over because that's just going to make an exact copy that we need on the other side. And then it's just a matter of cut it out along those lines. So well, this again is, I don't have to measure anything. It's just a matter of speeding it up and um, not having to uh, faff around with uh, doing all kinds of uh, things. So this just really, as I go, I do it. Um, Otherwise, there'll just be way too much information to divulge in here. And then you get long speeches, kind of like this one. So then, once you've unfolded it, you cut it in half, and you now have two sides, which you can then apply hot glue and stick down. So this is relatively simple, um, and uh, there was close to real time, so it doesn't take very long. And then apply the other side as well. So once we've done that, there's still more corrugation to be done. And of course, that is again, just placing the um, double layer cardboard of the plinth onto the cardstock, cut it out and fold it so that you can create the second side as well. Uh, just a nice crease. And then cut where that um, paper meets uh, the main piece of cardstock, unfold it and cut that down the crease line. And now you've got two equi-sized Equisized. That's a nice word, equisized. Equisized pieces of cardstock to cover up the corrugation on both sides of the base of the altar. So now we're going to uh, just check to see if there's any um, bits sticking over and you can just trim those off. Uh, this is what happens when you don't measure. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't take very long. So there we go. All right, so we're pretty much there with the structure. So now I have no idea why I did this, but it just adds a little bit of flavor to it. So um, that's why I uh, did it. So um, just some hot glue down the sides, some toothpicks along there and repeat on the other side. Um, wait for the hot glue to cure 100%, which is it hardens before going on to the next part um, because otherwise it'll come adrift. And the next part is as you can see, these are standard scissors. There's nothing magical about them. Just push the as far back as possible and then shear them off. So now what we're gonna do is um, hot glue across the top. Now, 
this is a mistake that I made and what you should do is use a piece of cardstock or a piece of plastic or something and spread out the hot glue so that it's one thin layer. I did not do this at this point and I regret not doing it. So then you just place that down in the middle of a sheet of um, tin foil and cut a cross towards each side. Um, so rectangles of um, tin foil towards each side. Now you're thinking, what the hell are you doing? Well, at this point, I probably don't know what I'm doing, but anyway, again here with hot glue, I should have spread it out. Um, it does give a bit of a marble texture in the end, but uh, you'll see why I've been doing this with the tin foil, and it's probably better if I had spread it out. So again, hot glue, um, the hot glue is hot and the heat transfers very easily through the tin foil, so be careful and um, stick that tin foil as well down as possible and continue on with the hot glue and sticking down the tin foil. Now essentially what we're going to be doing here, there's a lot of people who actually will craft with foam and foam core and things like that. Foam core is not available everywhere and if it is in some places it can be quite expensive. So this is an alternative to uh, what you see in other videos like DM Scotty's videos where he uses foam and then textures and things like that. This is an alternative method to that. Um, so uh, what's nice about tin foil is tin foil tends to hold its shape once you have um, um, run over it with implements. So uh, you can see that the hot glue underneath here, um, you can still see the ridges of it and that's why the uh, it would have been better to smear it over with the uh, plastic card or cardstock just to flatten it out. So all the excess tin foil is then trimmed off and we've got a nice neat wrapped tin foil altar. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, Get a little bit fancy and this is where I get a ballpoint pen preferably one that's run out or is completely stuffed and uh, start to draw some designs into the tin foil so this is what's going to create the ridges and things that are going to pick up the detail and this is why I regret not flattening the glue out because it starts the ridges of the uh, hot glue start to interfere but you know you live and you learn so here we have now the designs. Um, I've just created um, all over so geometric patterns and things over the altar. You can really just do whatever you like. And now I've based it in black, as you can see in video three. And I am now finger painting on a mixture of black and white to make gray, obviously. And then using a toothpick, I'm filling in the designs uh, that I did with the pen. So um, if you don't have access to expensive, nice, small, thin brushes, you can just do this sort of thing with a toothpick. Um, if you want it more brush-like, you can give it a little bit of a chew first, um, and that will um, give it a bit, a bit more of a bristle. Um, but yeah, just using the, the tip, you can then, um, as you can see here, I'm just painting in blood into the channels that I've created with the pen. And the, taking that onto a, um, onto a tile, you can see how that will look. So I wanna go even further now. I am going to dry brush on a light dry brushing of blue to give it a sort of a, uh, an ethereal kind of look. And uh, once I've done it in blue, I'm then going to go over it again in white. So there you go, and that gives a sort of marble or alabaster sort of look to it. And uh, you can see that that um, is really starting to stand out the designs that were done with the ballpoint pen. So enjoy. So that's how you can make an altar and very interesting techniques using the um, tin foil. So if you like this video, like button. You can also check out my Facebook page, Twitter account, Google Plus page, email newsletter, and of course the website, thedmg.info. Take it away, Danny Valentine.